Hello and welcome to another Managed Design blog post. My name is Ted Mulberg. I'm an Applications Engineer here at Managed Design. And today we're going to jump in and take a look at some new features, or excuse me, one particular feature in AutoCAD 2017. A lot of new stuff with 2017, but just going to focus on one particular one that I think is one of the neatest uh, new features they've added in quite a while. And that is the ability to bring in uh, PDFs and you'll say well we've been able to bring in PDFs into AutoCAD for quite a while and that is true but now we are able to not only bring them in but convert portions or the entire PDF into AutoCAD objects so let's jump in I'll show you how that works let's just start by opening the reference manager here and I'm going to attach a PDF to my current drawing okay and, and some people in the past were a little bit reluctant uh, to send out DWGs, which is why PDFs were so uh, much safer for companies to send out and uh, and give to people because right they can't be uh, can't be re-engineered. They're not giving away the store. Uh, but now with this functionality, some people that might be a downside of this feature is uh, they may be like slightly reluctant to send out vectorized PDFs, but. Here we've got an AutoCAD DWG, and in now the format of the PDF just looks better. It doesn't have that white background. It recognizes that it's a vectorized PDF. If it was a raster image, uh, you'd see the hazy background that the scanner would have picked up from the white sheet of paper. But this automatically just coming in even looks better than it ever has before. You've got it looks like vectored lines right in here now. But unfortunately, it's not. If I select it, it is just one big PDF file. And as I select it, you'll see the contextual menu changes, and we now get uh, the PDF underlay menu. And the new addition to that PDF menu is import PDF as objects. Really wonderful feature. So I'm going to select that here, show you how that works. Now, typically, you're not going to want the title block when you're bringing this stuff in, so I'm just going to put a window right around the actual engineering items here. I'll pick that corner right there and go down there and include the north arrow. We'll zoom in a little bit. Get exactly where we want to be. There we go. Now we have the option of uh, keeping or discarding the uh, the PDF, right? So I'm going to detach it. So we're only left with the AutoCAD line work when we're done. So it's running through this process. It does take a moment or two to run. It's not instantaneous, uh, but uh, considering what you can do with it after the fact, it's certainly worth the wait. So there it is, it's preparing to write it to the screen, evaluating all the polylines. In a second here, you will see the finished product. Okay, you can see that it is now done. It doesn't really look all that much different other than the title block is now gone. You picked up one stray line up here. But uh, if you'll notice now when I pick that, any of these objects, it's not a PDF anymore. This is all AutoCAD geometry. So now if I want to come in and say this pool area is now getting deleted, I can remove it from the drawing. I'm going to go into one of these rooms and say we're going to reconfigure this bathroom. Right? I'm going to take the bathroom areas completely out of these two units because they're going to become storage or whatever the case may be. Now you can come in and easily modify what was only a PDF file before and now change it as if you'd always draw it in AutoCAD. Now you'll notice it isn't absolutely perfect. If I select this door there, you can see that it kind of connected that door to some other geometry in there that you may not want to do and turn it into a multi-segmented polyline. No problem. You just have to delete it or hit escape and uh, and explode that first and delete just the objects, objects that you want. But for efficiency's sake, it does try to turn it, a lot of these items into polylines and for the most part does a very good job even recognizes lines as being dashed lines instead of bringing in individual line segments it's actually going to turn that into a dashed line type for you um, fonts are uh, picked up as well you can see it looks exactly like it did before unfortunately dimensions are not actually dimensions they appear to be if you select it they are in fact just lines and tick mark. So maybe in some of the later releases it can get some intelligence, some room for improvement there. But you can see even solid fills are being picked up. This polyline here for the detail area is actually picked up and, and it is uh, it does have a width associated with it. So it looks exactly like it did as, when it was as, as a PDF. So 
really great improvement in addition to the Autodesk line of things. And if you've got any other questions on how this works or how you can start using it, you can visit our website at www.managedesign.com or contact me and the other techs here at Managed Design using our support email address at support at managedesign.com.